stress culture these people are used to marry and when you divorce it's like 50 50 responsibility to the child but in our culture most likely we always feel like when we are done we are done maybe children can meet you later in future when they are grown up and all that but we feel that as as women we have our the child is ours belongs to me as a woman alone which honestly deep down in my heart i always feel so hard so so hard that one day the father to my son will come and i'll give him my son because he has never been there you see that is why it's difficult but in european country these people want to be there from the day one like sigve has told me even how he was there during the delivery like he, he explained to himself to me from the first day we met he told me about himself like he's this man who love being completely open from the beginning from the beginning from the word go so that there will be no confusion like if you want to know anything just ask him when you meet him he'll tell you everything that's who is who he is you see so i was talking about kacha now if you're a kenyan married to an american norwegian those those white people yeah, you see you understand ah huh? i always feel it's fair to try to fit in between the cultures it's not easy for us africans because we are not used to that but the fact that you fall in love with this white person it's okay as long as these people they are not He's, this person is not a bad person not a rude person not a drunkard person not a like let's say not someone into drugs not an abusive person if you if you fit to be like that responsible person it's it's good to give the right okay i do not want to to talk about sigve i do not want to favor him in anything but i know him I wish I had a father too. I, let me actually talk about the father to my son. Sigve himself, he asked me one day, would you like one day to, to meet the father to your son and let him have the child, have a day? It was the hell, hell idea. To me, it was hell. Like, I, could even, I couldn't even imagine why he would ask me to do that. But he explained to me that your son, one day will ask you the father. If he does, don't fail to show him his father. If you want to know his father, don't deny him the right. Even if the father comes after your son is five or ten years and want to see his son, don't deny him the right. Let him know this is the father. And let him know the reasons why you were separated as long as the genuine reasons and you have proof because if you lie to the kid the baby might come back in come in future and attack you as the mother if you lie to him so it's so 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 unfair <sighs> there is a time i felt like Sigve was was being denied the right to see the baby. <sighs> there is a time I felt that way. It was not easy. It was not so easy at all to accept that. But it's like... Sigva would make a call, no one receives. Sometimes Carl is sick, sometimes he wants to know where the baby is not feeling well. He wants to know everything about his son. Not even take him, he just wanted to know. He just wanted to know how the son is through a call. Today I was so shocked to hear that He doesn't have even 
he can't make a call to his son every day to talk to to Carl. I don't know what crimes he has ever committed. Nothing at all. I don't know. But even a phone call. It feels like that it feels like Carl will forget his father. Sigve is uh, uh, Sigve don't do alcohol, don't smoke. 